Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Right, today we're going up to Manchester and the Marble Brewery. And this is their Sister Agnes. It's an old ale. It's barrel aged in burgundy wine casks with Brettomyces and Murillo cherries. It's coming in at 9.7% ABV. So this beer was part of uh, Good Beer Live on the 1st of December of 2017. I'm reviewing this a bit later on now, it's the early hours of uh, the 2nd. So yeah, it's been out of the fridge now for quite a few hours. Um, I've not drunk all of it, been having a chat, etc. So I'm going to pour the rest of this beer in now. So this beer it's bottle conditioned. If you don't want all the sediment in the bottle, then uh, pour it more gently than I'm doing now. So yeah, it's come with a nice, it's a plain glass brown bottle. It's come with, well you, you've probably seen that part, is it upside down? Yes. So there you go. And it's got a load of information on the back. Um, if you want to pause it. Excellent stuff. Thank you to Honest Brew for sending me this beer. Um, really kind of them. Check down below, there's a good beer live that myself, uh, Jacob Beer, and Mr. Rob Derbyshire from Hopseed and done earlier on. The link for that whole kind of hour and a half ish uh, hangout show is down below. Uh, good beer live is the code for Honest Brew if you want to get yourself. A bit of money off. I, I can't actually. I think it's pretty much ten pounds off plus free shipping for every order placed for thirty-five pounds. So check them out. This beer is still available on their website. So I will put the link down to the Marble Beers uh, page down below as well. So you can go and check it out. I think they've got about nine beers on at the moment as of the second of December. So anyway, let's get to the beer shall we so yeah colour in the glass let me just give it a swirl try and generate a little bit of head although it didn't really pour much of a head earlier on it's definitely got that kind of cherry kind of colour to the beer cherry dark cherry there's light bleeding through the top of the beer let's get an aroma as you can see it's that kind of colour Wow. I've not had a sip of this beer for probably a couple of hours or so, so. It's got a nice kind of sherry esque quality to it. There's obviously the cherries are coming through. There's a slight sweetness off that. It's it's kind of medium in the, the funkiness of it. Um, with the Brettomyces yeast that they've used in this beer. It's the most kind of un-old ale aroma that I've probably ever tried because of the yeast. Yeah, there's a slight kind of uh, baker's chocolate aroma coming through. Yeah, it's just an unbelievable aroma. Um, it's definitely got that kind of sour-ish funk coming through. But not overly, like some of the actual sours. I know this is not a sour, but it's got that kind of vibe to it. It smells divine. Let's give it a taste an hour or so on. Cheers. Oh wow. It, it almost tastes so much more complex. It's got that kind of slight kind of liqueur quality to it now that it's warmed up a little bit. It's yeah, like a um, 
a cherry chocolate almost creamy black forest gato kind of quality to it with a slight bit of funk lurking in the background fantastic beer really is and it's a real change up to like stouts, pours, um, IPAs, that kind of thing. This is beautiful stuff, beautiful beer. It's almost like, like I say, a, a dessert beer. Kind of a, a whipped cream, cherry. Almost like a slight kind of soft sponge. But then on the other hand it could be a, uh, a trifle with that kind of sherry kind of esters coming through. Although it's in burgundy barrels. You know what I'm saying, it's along them lines. Liqueurish. There's a slight bit of alcohol coming through. Not gonna lie, it's nine point seven percent. You're probably not drinking like it. You're probably drinking like a, a seven, something like that. It's a real complex thinking kind of beer, you know. It really is. Hmm. This is not one of them beers that it's not a chugging beer, of course, but it's so complex that you just really want to enjoy it, take your time and you can go through kind of thought processes in your head. It's, it, if you're into writing or something like that late at night or you're into music, write your own music or things like that, you could be doing that. This is not really kind of one of them game console beers where you just you're playing along and you're drinking and it's not one of them beers it's more of a yeah having a read of a good book sitting by a log fire when it's winter like it is now and just chilling out and really enjoying this beer it's fantastic it really is a fantastic beer oh yeah I, I, even now doing the review I'm kind of drifting off all the cogs going around thinking how wonderful this beer is like a nice kind of yeah medium bodied mouthfeel smooth very drinkable dangerous but it's not you're not going to grab a mouthful and, anyway I've gone in for that a long time so right let me go into a little commercial description then um, and I've got to butcher a few words up here, which is, you know, you know me. Um, brewed in celebration of Anne Ratcliffe's Mysteries of, this is the word, Udolpho? No, Udolpho? U-D-O-L-P-H-O. Right, we're done with that. Sister Agnes is an old ale aged in burgundy wine casks with bretomyces and merlot cherries which I've already said so as for a rating then this gives us a rating for me it's just fantastic that kind of chocolatey yeah baker's chocolate cherry slight funk with the, the bretomyces yeast coming coming through as well smooth mouthfeel medium body I'm giving this a nine out of ten. It, it's um, yeah, it's a, f a four and a half out of five caps on Untapped for me. Right over to Untapped then. Um, it's had a total of two hundred and seventy-eight ratings. Um, a, a monthly ratings count of twenty-nine. Not too many. Um, and then it goes on to this beer was first put on. So. I maxed out on my camcorder for the first time ever so apologies about that I don't know where I was in the review so this is just straight off the bat I've deleted a few reviews that I should have done before created a bit of space anyway I'm gonna keep all this in um, I have no idea where I was before so 
you'll get the picture more than I do. Anyway, so this was Sister Agnes, a beer from Marble Beers in Manchester, 9.7% ABV. I don't know if you caught all the scores, I may be repeating myself, so anyway. Um, this beer was added on to Untapped on the 18th of November of 2016. This had a total of 278 ratings, 28 monthly, and it's coming out at 254 actual ratings on Untapped. I've probably said that twice, and it's coming out at 3.98. So I don't know if you caught my rating. I gave this a nine out of ten, so that's a 4.5 out of five. So yeah. Um, so if you've had this beer before, let me know your thoughts and opinions. It's still available on Honest Brew, the sponsor for this beer, as well as check out Good Beer Live. There's also a, a Good Beer Live is the code to get yourself, I think it's £10 off, plus free shipping when you spend £35 on their website. So check them out. Check out Marble Beers down below. Hopefully this comes through all right. You know me. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about it too much, and I'll see you on the next review. Okay. Cheers.